Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Aurora Plays Neverwinter Nights 2 Mysteries of Westgate. I am your humble bard, Tim. In the previous session, we arrived at Westgate. Um, having, uh, as the plot has, uh, has indicated to us, we have a mask. This mask here, Domino Mask, which has been giving us really bad dreams. And it belongs to a criminal organization or representatives of a criminal organization known as the Night Masks. And so we have come to this town uh, seeking a way to, I guess, rid ourselves of the mask. Uh, we came across uh, some people in a bar who was missing their dancing girl. We found the dancing girl. Turns out she's actually an undercover member of the City Watch. Uh, and then this fine lady as well has uh, been threatened by another member of uh, uh, another, another uh, business owner um, who has refused to back down. So we're probably going to have to kill her at some stage. Uh, we also met up with some other people here, a, a cleric, a disgraced paladin, and our rogue friend, Rena. And so now, we are... Oh yes, there was a building that blew up, Dimples the Dancer, that was the thing there. Um, the fate, yeah, sorry, like Mantides, that's the name of this guy here. I know it's Mant Man Mantides, but Mantides is, is funnier. Uh, Rena's Fortune... Uh, the Ebon Claws, the Church of Lathander, and the Curse of the Mask. So, these are all the bits and pieces that we're currently doing. I think uh, we've got to find out about this death trap. But we've also got to work out what's going on with uh, with Dimples. We tried to fix her, her foot, but unfortunately our healing ability isn't high enough to do that yet. So, uh, I think we need to try and finish off this one here for, for Okazu. But we'll find out how it goes. I'm guessing we're just going to have to kill a bunch of nobles, which doesn't seem to be a bad thing in this place. Like, the first thing that happened when we showed up was we got someone tried to shake us down, and our uh, assassin friend uh, just stabbed him in the streets, so it was nice and easy to solve that problem. Um, so, we've got the Market Triangle, the Arena District. Let's... Morningstar Haven, that was bit there. The Bent Mermaid Inn, that's just the Arena South. Let's just head in there. Because I don't think there was anything else in the arena that I needed to check out. But let's just have a quick wander around. Ah, oh, that's right. This lamp post had a... Um, touch the post and kneel. Ah, that portal was a portal that was apparently used to the Undercity, so we might be able to chat with the Night Masks here, so here we go. A rogue woman emerges from the shadows, blocking your path. Her eyes stare past you, and she begins speaking in a chilling monotone. Ooh. He seeks to unmask himself, but there is no truth behind the masquerade. There is only more deceptions. Uh, what do you mean? We hear unspoken words. His words form questions, which are the easiest for all to hear, for they beg to be answered. We know he pursues the night mask, those who hide in veils of darkness, but their disguises are petty. Behind all masks sits a true mover, a true deceiver. Behind all sits the faceless, whose hidden glory we celebrate. The faceless is the leader of the night masks. It sounds like she worships the faceless, enigmatic leader of the night masks. That's weird. Very weird. His search may lead him to the Faceless himself, but it will not lead him to truth, not unless there is truth in the grave. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Uh. Yes. What do you want? A 
Oh, a Dao Genie. Or Dao Genie. Oh, look, another fresh city dweller wishes to sample the depraved delights of the one and only Cafels. Do me a favor and tie uh, his tentacle to a ship anchor, will you? That overgrown squid deserves to be at the bottom of the heart. Uh, overgrown squid, you mean Kajil? Who else? The self-styled master of Undergate. Old slime face himself. At least I think it's a he. You can never be sure. Those. Oh, I bet he's a, uh, a mind flayer. Uh, so who exactly are you? The who isn't important. What I am most uh, is a most noble Dao genie. Humiliatingly reduced to the role of simple city guard for the damnable Kajil. I should have known better than to make a bet with a sire. Scion. What bet did you make? I had too much to drink one night. Challenge Kajil to a game of cards. The stakes? The, the tavern itself. If I won, a hundred years of servitude. And if I lost, never play cards with that being that can read your minds. <laughs> You'll always come first. <laughs> All right, well, I need to get in there. Hand over the token. Uh, nobody gets access to Kajil's without the proper token. He likes to choose his clients wisely, you see. He doesn't want the wrong kind of person getting in, or rather the right kind of person. I don't have a token. Oh, you must misplace it. Is that right? Don't worry. I'll open the portal for you anyway. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, it's the best fun I've had all ten day. No token, no entry. I'm bound to obey that rule. Much as I would love to break it. It's part of the bet, you see. All right. Let me ask you some questions. No, that's it. All right, cool. Interesting. Yeah, ogre, ogre, commoner. Oh, this git. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. If the gith are here. Uh, needs the world above when you have delights of kajis to keep you entertained. If this person actually is a uh, a mind flare, then the fact the gith are actually happy to work with him, or at least get his. Uh, like sample his wares. That's very disturbing. I couldn't do that if you offered me all the gold in Westview. It's impossible. All right, all right, all right. This door opens to reveal a chasm. Oh, fucking hole in the floor. Uh, a strange mirror. The mirror produces a reflection. Like any other, one with startling differences. When you look into the shiny surface, it's a formless blur. Okay. Can I smash it? No. Mirror produced reflection, formless blur. Alright, cool. And can we open this door? I couldn't do that if you offered me all the gold in Westgate. It's all right. impossible. Alright, alright, alright. All right. So we need a specific key for that one, it appears. And who is this statue? Uh, a pious monk holding his hands aloft. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, no. It's mole. I thought this was gold. <laughs> Okay, so they've got like little portals to teleport you to different sections of the city. Uh, exit to the arena district. The Dark Lady's Promise. Drow oh, let's have a look at the Drow Merchant. And it's Duragar Quarter. Hello, Drow Merchant. Well now, a new customer. Raspin Esselstein at your service. Ah, there's certain excitement that only comes with making your first transaction with someone you've never met. God's willing, this will be the first of many transactions between us. Watch your coin purse around this one, Aurora. Oh, what is that, my dear? Are you suggesting that I would be anything but forthright in my dealings with your friend? Do you have some prejudice against me, or, or do you know me from somewhere? Yes, your face looks familiar. We did business once in the past. Certain difficult to move items sold on behalf of a re rather well known criminal organization. What are you suggesting about my wife, sir? Oh, I didn't mean offence, sir. I was just commenting on a similarity. I didn't mean to suggest your wife was actually a criminal I referred to. 
I hope you'll take no further offense when I uh, note that one doesn't often see a husband and wife here in Undergate. It tends to attract more uh, solitary visitors. No offense taken. I'm so glad. I wouldn't want a few off-the-cuff comments to stay in what could be a mutually beneficial business relationship. Now, how can I help you? What you got? Alright, what have we got here? That's pretty impressive. Uh, bonus feet dash, and saving throws on that, and a heavy shield. I mean, to mind affecting spells, that's also pretty good. Some nice stuff there. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sell my crap to this guy. I wonder what happens if I put this... Ooh! Oh! So, will save versus evil. Success. The shit? I'm curious now, actually, because I've got the mask on and it's doing weird shit. Um, if I look in that mirror... Fuck off, Wraith. Talk to. Examine. Stop trying to eat my soul, please. Okay, that's interesting. Uh. Okay, there was the drow quarter over here. And the dark lady's promise. So let's go visit the... Nope, can't visit the, the Durigar, sorry. Let's go back to the portal then. Uh, if I put the mask on, what does it do? Uh... Okay. Okay. And every time you put, put the mask on, it shifts your alignment towards evil, which is a bit of a bitch. Uh, alright. Uh, what have we got here? Ah! It's the Temple of Shah. Hi, Priestess Felicia. Ah, a new visitor comes to our temple. What secrets shall you offer up to the Dark Lady, I wonder? Uh, I just wanted to ask some questions, if I may. Then you have come to the wrong place. Oh. Char does not share her secrets freely. No, you must look elsewhere for your answers. I got money. Uh, show me what you've got, then. Uh... Shah's Embrace, Shah's Priestly Might, Long Death, Black Cow Probe. <laughs> so we get a healer's kit plus 10. Let's see if we can't uh, go and fix up the uh, Dimple's legs. Legs, foot, whichever it is. So what do these do? Uh, Dark Vision and Darkness. Belt of Priestly Night. The Dark Moon. Hmm. Oh, hello. 
Be welcome to the temple of the Mistress of the Night, man. I am uh, Onuga Dirhan, servant of Shar, a monk of the Dark Moon. Uh, you're a member of the Order of the Dark Moon? Yes, I am. I represent the Order of Westgate, and I aid the High Priestess Valicia in prayers to the Dark Lady and in the maintenance of our temple. Well, tell me all about Shar, then. The Dark Lady sees all that happens in the shadows and the da of uh, and darkness, man. And as each and every one of us has some hint of darkness in our hearts, the Lady of Loss is mistress to us all. None can escape her unwilling gaze. We can hide nothing from the Dark Lady. Of course, there's no reason to try and hide anything from the Mistress of Night. Once one has realized this and has opened oneself to her cold, comforting embrace, there's no going back, for the Dark Lady rewards loyalty with powers beyond imagination. And... Tell me about the Shadow Weave. The Dark Lady's Weave is the only true source of power. Servants of Mistra are uh, restricted by their goddess, for Mistra has established limitations and on bounds of their magic. Followers of the Dark Lady are subject to no such limitations. All right. May the Dark Lady bless you, man. I like to think, actually, like the way she speaks. Yes. Welcome to the Temple of the Mistress of the Night, man. I'm Onuga, Dar <laughs> servant of Shar and monk of the Dark Moon. So you're a member of the Order of the Dark Moon? Yes, I am. I represent Order of Westgate and aid the priestess. Now, uh, tell me about Shaw. The Dark Lady is, sees all that happens in the shadows and darkness, man. As each and every one of us has some hint of darkness in our hearts, the Lady of Loss is mistress to us all. None can escape our unwilling gaze. We hide nothing from the Dark Lady, man. <laughs> of course, there is no reason to try and hide anything from the Mistress of the Night. Once one has realized this and opened oneself to her cold, comforting embrace, there is no going back. For the Dark Lady rewards loyalty with power am among imagination, beyond imagination. Uh, dear. Damn. No worries, man. You'd be good. <laughs> uh, shit. I'm having a little bit too much fun with that. Alright, what else we got in here? No, nothing can be interacted with, just these glowing crystals. Alright, cool. Uh, so they got the harbor loop, the market triangle, the arena district, and there's the merchant again. All right, cool. Let's have a quick look over here. See if there's any NPCs with names that we can chat with. There you go. So there's tiefling and another tiefling. There's commoner, commoner, and imp. Commoner, 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 ogre. Get Yankee, get Yankee, beladling. Yep, yeah, alright. Cool. Yeah, you know, I wonder what will happen if I just try to jump straight through the portal. Nothing happens. But well, that's good to know. All right, let's head back to the uh, the market. No, not the market triangle. The docks district is where I want to go. The harbor loop. There we go. Oh, there's a rock. A pile of rocks for an old sewer entrance. Lizard folk witch. Ah, it's another handy one come to see my potions. Uh, sure, I'll take take a look what you got to sell. Bears endurance box skin. Yeah, all right, cool, nothing spectacular. We have another door here. Hello. 
Come, my child, come and rest a spell. You are safe here in the uh, arms of the ill mater. My name is Ocean. I attend this humble shrine and all. Uh, sorry. I attend this humble shrine and to all the wounds of those who seek to heal uh, the healing touch of the crying god. Are you hurt, child? Um. Sure, let him touch my face. And flashes a benevolent smile as he massages your cheek. His hand feels rough and calloused on your skin. Despite his gen the gentleness of his touch, you sense surprising strength in the grasp of his. I can see you are a fit person, but I cannot tell what maladies may lie beneath the surface. You must talk to me. You must tell me what ails you so that Ilmita may absorb your pain. Uh... Uh, my party could use some healing. On as his mouth curl upwards as his benevolent smile turns to a sinister grin. Hurt are you? And it looks like this little shrine of ill meter, the crying god, has once again led a victim to its trap. <laughs> oh, it'll end your suffering, all right, before I take all your belongings, or should I say right before we take your belongings. Come out, little Deros. Another uh, uh, injured fool has fallen into our trap. Ooh. <laughs> Funny, that's actually the first fight we've had this entire campaign. Ah, hold a ring of slow and a gold ring. There we go. Uh, Ah, keep finding more little things around here. Ah, is this a mimic? Ah, uh, you bet it is. I couldn't do that if you offered me all the gold in Westgate. It's Ugh. impossible. Everyone's useless in this party. I can't even... Ah, oh, that's that's a pain. They've taken away the ability to smash chests. Cool. Alright, let's head back to the harbor loop, then. Exit to the harbor loop. to go to yes the tavern oh oi matey so you've returned to wise jack again have you um hello again mr salty say would you happen to have some spare coin or two would you i'm running a bit low on the spare change department of late work's been a bit slow sure i got a bit to spare ah you're kind so kind thank you matey you wouldn't happen to be able to spare some more, would you? Inflation. Yeah, sure, have to spare. And again. Uh. Alright, sure. <laughs> Better you could use a hand, matey. Quarrows. Got a stomach, a stomach bug. Uh, sure, here's some more gold. God bless you, matey. Um. Uh, you know, if yeah, even a little more to spare. Been rather cold lately, and I could really use a new set of rags. You wouldn't want me freezing, would you? Oh, of course not. Here you go. Have some more. Ah, you've been kind. Um. Let's 
sorry, I can't spare anymore. Ugh. I'm sorry, Salty, I really can't spare anymore at this point. Oh, of course, of course. Salty understands he does. Your adventuring types are all the same, yeah. Hey, should I gave you a crap load of gold, mate? Ah, oh, you should come back here, Jack. Ah, oh, here you go. He looks at your ostrich hand in shock. Still, he takes a gold piece. Hmm. You better trade his tactic more often. Ahoy, man, my good friend Quarog. Uh, I need be wanting to speak with you. Oh, your, sh uh, your shadow wishes to... Uh, he does now, very well. Uh, listen closely. He leans forward and his head learns, leans sideways. He's listening to something after a moment. Um, so what did he say? Oh, old Quarog said he needs a gold bee. <laughs> there you go. Ugh. Just going to keep giving Jack shitloads of gold. Let it be. Oh, hey there. Have you seen Dimples around? Yes, yes, she's fine. She's not coming to work because she twisted her ankle. No fooling. How'd you do that? And why didn't you tell me? Ah, when's she coming back? Uh, well, she didn't... Uh, well, you said you just wanted to know if she was safe, and now you know. Fair enough. I can live with not knowing the other stuff as long as I know she hasn't disappeared and got herself killed. Uh Ah oh, How nice, they gave us some stuff. Thanks for looking into this for me. Yeah, take these potions as a reward. I keep them around just in case I get into serious brawl, but that ain't likely that <laughs> I'll ever need them. Uh Thanks, Buff. Here you go. And I hope yeah, you can use it as well. I'll oh, see little Davies eyeing me over there. Best get back to work, which means uh standing here watching over things. Best of luck to you, my friend. All right, cool. We got some potions and completed our first quest. I know, friend, now that I know Dimples is safe, uh, my mind rests easier. I can focus on my work, which is watching over things. Glad to be of service. Um, well, let's... You know, we haven't actually had a rest yet, so... I'm going to rent a room. It's a tavern, not an inn. Ah, try the Bent Mermaid in the Arena District. You could... Just pluck yourself down in the corner here. There is enough unconscious drunk slittering the place. <laughs> okay, sure. Actually, I want to ask you about something. Uh... No, I've already been all that. All right, cool. Done. All right. Oh, we haven't should be to the harbour master's office. Let's see what's going on up there. Hello, Gren, a sailor, a dock worker, and the harbour master's assistant. What can I do for you? Holy crap! It's me. I found my long lost brother. <laughs> Think your name and business, and please be brief. I've got thousands of things to do today, and honestly, I don't know how the regular Harbour Master manages to do everything he needs to be, needs to be done. Um, so you're the acting Harbour Master? Yes, name's Gren. Harbour Master, and he is taken ill, and so I've uh, fo he's foisted uh, his responsibilities on me. So, you can see I'm very busy. Please, state your business. Uh, no business, I'll be going. Uh, Route of the Pirate King, the Dragon's Flame. Lord represents the Dragon's Flame flagship of the Westgate Navy. All right. Route of the Pirate King. Miniatures depict the Route of the Pirate King. Uh, take advantage of Westgate. Seal tent towards the visitors. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. So he's just... Uh... Nice basic detailed models. Uh, all right, cool. So nothing specific here. Let's go. One of those things that bugs me at the beginning of um, new campaigns is finding, just getting your, your basic bearings and getting the direction that you need to go. Glan! Uh, what goods have you got to sell? Uh, 
Mr. Willows, empty table. Although the bent barmaid is crowded, this table remains unoccupied. Perhaps it has something to do with the old brown stains on the benches. God damn it, I want a room! Well, can I just sit in this area here and just go to sleep? <laughs> Fine. I couldn't do that if you offered me all the gold in West. Oh, you suck. Oh, that's that protester that we Oh. Gun at the bold. Greetings and well met. Hello there, friend. I'm Garrett the Bold, treasure hunter, ladies' man, and sometimes thief. Lean in close and listen well. It would, wouldn't would do to have an unwelcome ear. Learn of my brilliant scheme to attempt to muscle in on it. The treasure is so near I can almost feel it. During my last uh, incredible escapade, I learned of a hidden temple of the dead goddess of illusions, the era was pleasant in this very city. S after some investigation, I have learned of a ritual that will transport me to this temple and its forgotten treasures. However, my hardened treasure, as any hardened treasure hunter will tell you, the forgotten treasure goes hand in hand with forgotten dangers. A magnificent scout and lockpick I may be, but I'm a lover, not a fighter, and need some muscle to accompany me, just in case that's where, and that's where you come in. And um, what do I get out of this? A man after my own heart, indeed. Why, treasure! That's what you get, and plenty of it. Uh, these Lyrians apparently uh, perished due to some unrecorded disaster, leaving their veils intact. You can keep most of what you find. Uh, I'm in it for the adventure, not uh, one for treasure in particular. Uh, so what is the treasure exactly? Oh, I'm not prepared to share that information just yet. Uh, perhaps uh, once, you've can't, once you've agreed to help, uh, and we're in the temple, but not now. All right, sure, count me in. Magnificent. The ritual needs to be performed at a certain spot west of here by the large sta statue opposite the noble's mansion. Uh, when you're ready, come speak to me there. All right. We have our second big adventure. Auto save. Greetings and well met. This is the place. Now we need to do is recite the correct prayer to Liera, and we should be transported into the temple. Are you ready? Sure. Good chap. Now. How did it go? All right, here we go. Treasure hunting. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. Why are you here? It's a little emptier than I expected, but I'm sure there's plenty of treasure left to be had. Let's go. Oh, cool. He's on my... Uh... Turn back, mortals. Turn back before it's too late. You're not welcome here. <laughs> it must, must be a spirit of one of the priestesses that died here. She doesn't look very distressed, does she? Silence, fool. I shall warn you once and once only. If you do not leave the temple, this instant, you will join me here in a restless death. <laughs> look, I just want to help. I don't need your help. I need you to leave. Do as I say. You might yet survive to see the surface again. Wow, that was strange. Didn't quite get a tragic tortured soul vibe from it, you know? I met quite a few ghosts, and normally they wail a little more. Uh, I guess it's time I told you why I'm really here. The temple is said to hold great artifact of Liera, known as the Cloak of Mysteries. And I want this cloak, and I don't care about the rest. Take what you want, but I'm keeping this. Should we find it? Agreed? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Good. Good to have that straightened out. Now let's get going. Get the feeling that because this is like a temple of illusions, the there's someone in here that's actually using this place as like a hideout. Uh, I will touch the pool of mist. Ooh. I've got two lockpicks working on this. And there's two secret doors as well. Uh, 
empty wine bottle. And some rags. Oh, oh, what treasures we have. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, the place is locked up like crazy. It's locked up. Must be something good inside. Yeah, no shit. These two robes are just fighting over who can who can unlock and disable all the devices. <laughs> Plain shirt. Alrighty. I guess we go and touch that other pool of mist now. Oh, okay, cool. So we're in a different area now. There's a lot of misty pools around. Right, if we touch this one, what's it going to take us to? Friggin' teleport maze. Oh, that just took us back to here. Damn it. Alright, so. There's this one. Then this one. A big hammer. <laughs> So we were here before. So that one took us back to that area there. And we have another locked door. Let's actually open this one up then. Okay, so nothing in here. So we want to touch this pool this time. Nothing in there. Ooh. Why are you still here? Do not understand that I am unable to rest in peace while you amble around looting everything in sight. Please, I am begging you now, leave this place. My goddess may be dead, but the sacrilege is still an insult to her memory. Have no respect. Whatever you do, stay away from the central chamber. My sisters rest there, and I don't wish to disturb their eternal sleep as you did mine. Ah, we should heed the spirit's words, Aurora. Stealing treasures from an abandoned temple is one thing, but waking the spirits of the dead, that's uh, something no one from them should suffer. There's something a little suspect about this, don't you think? Why would the spirit of this priestess haunt the temple while her sisters rest in peace? There's more than meets the eye here. Yeah, let's investigate. This does seem uh, quite fishy. Oh, shut up, man titties. <sighs> Thanded teachings um, urge respect for the dead. Am I to break every tenant I once held dear? 
I'm with you, Aurora. Just remember, the cloak is mine. All right, fine. I can tell Man Titties is going to be an absolute bitch. I'm leading. I think I deserve an extra share of the loot for this. I would say yes. Yeah, that line there is like, yes, pay no. Ooh. Besty maggots, the cloak of illusion may have been enough to fool you, but my magic is more than capable of turning you inside out, just like it did those wretched priestess. Prepare to die. Already. Ooh. Even the gods can't save you now. <laughs> yeah. By the gods, that was an epic struggle. That ogre mage and his henchmen must have been hiding the depths, um, uh, must have been behind the depths of the priestess. And he used the cloak to create an illusion of the ghostly priestess. Not very convincing, I might add. As promised, I have let you uh, pick the temple's treasures. Now you must fulfill your end of the bargain. The cloak is mine. And you're welcome to it. Most excellent. This little adventure has proven quite profitable for all of us. I got rid of the... I've also rid the realms of one more murderous scumbag. Ah, not a bad day's work. Now must be going. Farewell, friend. Now, where is he? If you need something looted, I'm your woman. Uh, where's our friend? I want you to try and pick his pocket and get the thing off him. <laughs> Ah, he left. What a bastard. Yes. Alright, cool. Not a bad little adventure, that. Exit to Undergate. Alright, we've done the harbor loop stuff. Let's head to the market triangle. Loud. The tower. What is this, the tower? Oh. I hope that merchant has protection for the night mask. Without it, she's going to get robbed blind. She keeps smiling at passers by. Each uh, time taking her eye off her inventory. Go on, then. Show me how you do it. Do what? You know what I'm talking about, Ripper. Show me how you rob someone. I want to see this with my own eyes. Uh-oh. Ladies are fighting again. Let's just listen. She think wasn't my speciality. I was a collector. I went around collecting protection money, debts, that sort of things. If I were going to steal something, I'd have to use my wits. I'm not a talented pickpocket. So even in this you lack courage, you must, else you would not need to rely on ob obfuscation. Uh, but you still have yet to give me an example. How would you rob that merchant, for instance? Well, first off, I need a partner who's good with their hands. As I said, that's not my strength. I'd be uh, the one planning the operation, distracting the mark. Uh, I prefer to be, uh, present myself as a prop proper citizen and accidentally step on that dog do over there. If the mark happened to take pity on me, she might walk away from her stand to offer a rag to wipe it off. Regardless, the scene would distract her long enough for my partner to grab something valuable. <laughs> you disappointment, Ripper. What skill is involved in that? Any street urchin could pull off such a stunt. The key is not raising the mark's suspicion. By stepping in the dog do, I make her think I'm some hapless twit, incapable of tricking anyone. I'm still not impressed. Even I could come up with a better swindle, and I haven't spent my whole life dealing in deceptions. I'd honestly be more impressed with this hypothetical partner of yours if they could actually steal the items despite such a crude distraction. Well, it does help to have a skilled partner, especially when you're um, worthless with sleight of hand. Still, you're underestimating the cleverness behind this. The less the mark thinks of you, the more she lets her guard down, and therefore, the less actual skill it takes to pocket the valuables. 
Speaking of valuables, you dropped this. My amulet! How'd you... When did you... <sighs> Me? Take it? Uh, I didn't tell you what... Uh, didn't I tell you how bad I was? Indeed, Ripper. Indeed you did. And I can't say your discussion has taught me much about your craft. But it certainly taught me something about you. <laughs> So she got the amulet on her now? No. Sure. All right, cool, cool. I would say yes. Ah, here we go. Government officers. As you path before this block of buildings, you feel a sudden chill down your spine. You're experiencing an all-too-familiar sensation of being watched. As you let your gaze wander around the area, area pretending to simply be talk, taking in the scenery, though so you are not to alert the watcher that you have detected them, suddenly a flicker of... Whoa, makes you do a double-take. A bit of sworn that when you first let your eyes drift by that window, you'd seen a pale, almost ghostly visage of a child with an expression of utmost terror and panic on his face, with his mouth open in a silent scream. But when you look back, just for a split second after registering what you saw, the window was... Uh, inconceivably, almost mockingly empty. G -g 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 ghost Uh, you felt a smell a rancid but faintly familiar smell. Smells coming from upstairs. A book. Pages of this battered book are ripped and torn, making it difficult to discern its nature. However, upon closer examination, it appears to be a journal of a man named Peter. The last few entries uh, are intact. Begin reading. First of the intact entries reads as follows. Maria found another spider today, a rather large specimen that was crawling in the basement stairs. This is the second I've seen in two days. What a bizarre coincidence the vermin frightened uh, Martin, the poor boy. But it wasn't too big that my boot couldn't handle it. I am beginning to think that we have an infestation of these spiders. There was one in Marin's bedroom today. I tried to comfort him, but the poor boy is developing a phobia of the beasts. I didn't tell the others, but I found three of the vermin crawling in our room last night. I'm beginning to get worried myself. Damn the nine hells, these spiders are getting worse and worse. Martin opened the door to the basement to go play, and a giant one of those creatures crawled right between his legs. I had to use one of Maria's big knives to kill it. It's as big as a badger, for the love of God. Entry continued on the next page. I intend to take out my old blade from my younger days and venture down into the basement tonight after Maria and Martin are asleep. To see if I can get to the bottom of this, I will have not have my family live in fear of those vermin. There must be a simple crack on the wall in the cellar that they're coming through. No further entries. I'll take the journal. So, they got attacked by spiders. You step into what appears to be a master bedroom, a scene of horror greets you. Two bodies are sprawled either side of the room. One is a woman and one who lies near the window looking into the street. A young boy whose face appears eerily familiar. Upon closer examination, the boy bears no visible wounds. His eyes bulge from their sockets. However, his tongue is purple and swollen. He seems to have suffered death by poisoning. Uh, spider bite. Suddenly, a cessation you are being watched returns stronger than ever, and out of the corner of your eye, you see a figure drop down behind you from the ceiling. Oh, hello there. Your sword's dripping. Might want to get that checked. The creature addresses you in a voice hardly human. You intruded upon the lair of Sh the king of spiders. Uh, I'll go where the fuck I want. False fool. We will feast upon your body once the poison stops your heart. 
Uh, you and what army? The man emits a sound from his throat and makes your hair stand on end. Then an eerie unison, several giant spiders descend from the ceiling and land around him. Their many eyes focused on you, glitteringly hungry. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, Spider-Man. Ah, that's it for you. Take that. To the basement. We gotta go kill ourselves with spiders. glint of metal in the floor of the door catches your eye. It appears to be a key of some sort. Ha 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 ha! I'll bend down and pick up the key. It'll be the key to the basement. Ha 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 ha! I think we found Peter, everyone. What does Peter's ring do? Inside the ring, it has a graving that reads Peter. All right. So this is a ring that he wears so he doesn't forget his name. What's my name again? Oh, yeah, it's Peter. If you need something looted, I'm your woman. Yes, unlock the fucking chest. I would say yes. There. Now aren't you glad you brought me along? Sure. Ah, more bones. Thought the, I thought the mushrooms there were actually um, a swarm of spiders. Oh, hello there. Aren't you pretty? Bad spider. Ah, oh, shit, all right. Even the gods can't save you now. I shall not fail. Get back here, man, titties. See the same figure you fought previously drop down from the ceiling. You, um, we have intruded upon the lair of Sach, the king of spiders, for the last time. Several huge spiders descend from the healing and land around him, coming. Come forth, my queens. All right. We got some piles of garbage here. Ow! That son of a bitch trapped his garbage. 
Uh, King uh, Bavone's treasure. Ooh, could be interesting. Alrighty. Well. Plus two poison. It is a scimitar. And the cloak of arachnia just gives you immunity to web. I'll give that to one of my other companions that requires a cape but um all right i think that's what we're going to leave today's session i've solved a couple of mysteries in this uh this episode oh no that's what we got to do you're forgetting i gotta go back and see if i can't um repair um oh or you send three familiar ghostly figures, one of the man whose body you came across in the basement, the other the woman and the boy whose corpses you encountered in the bedroom upstairs. Hello, sir. You may not know us, but we were watching since you entered our home. Um, yeah, what happened in this house, and who are the creatures in the basement? I know what happened, but I'll let him explain. If you read my journal, you will see that before the house was overrun, we began finding an alarming number of household spiders in our home, and eventually the problem escalated to the point that no matter how many vermin we killed, there were more to replace them moments later elsewhere in the house. I decided to venture into the basement to see if I could plug up whatever nook the beasts were coming from, but I encountered Sinchira, the king of spiders, who was waiting for me there. He easily overpowered me and killed me, and then proceeded to release his largest spider slaves on my wife and son, whom you found upstairs, where, where they were killed. Our spirits could not rest until the evil of that man, the king of spiders, was purged from this place. We have lingered in this home out of sight, waiting for one such as you to venture within and slay him. You have done it, human. Why is everyone just calling me human? Very racist. I have nothing to give you myself, but I speak for my family when I say that you are welcome to whatever objects of value you might find in our home. They have no use to us now, and we have no relatives to come and claim our belongings. All that I can offer you in person is my deepest, most heartfelt thanks for lifting the shadow that has rusted over this place for far too long. Now at long last we can rest in peace with the knowledge that the King of Spiders is no more. Thanks for killing the spiders, mister, and that evil, evil man. The three smiling spirits fade from view. Hooray! Alright, cool. Done and done. Yeah, now we gotta go see uh, Dimples. They got that plus 10 healers kit, so hopefully I'll be able to... Uh, to fix it foot. So we gotta go to. Uh, let's have a quick look at the exploded house. Ah. Thin wisps of smoke rise from smoldering ashes from what was once a heavy wooden door. Okay, so we can go in now. Excuse me, you're there, I say. Oh, you look like the adventuring sword, or have I missed the mark? Uh, yes, that's right. Oh, that's most excellent. Huh. My name's uh, Thoreau Feswink, and I need someone who's up for a spot of bodyguard beauty, but a few bullies who might need uh, handling. Uh, I certainly don't uh, mind beating up bullies. Point the way. Right, I've actually hired you for my cousin. He's the one who's going to need assistance. He'll be the one who's going to pay you. His name is Tudor Feswink. Uh, you will find him in the nearby tavern called The Track. Oh, one more thing. Take this file to him. It's very important that he gets this. There's n uh, no job without it. Um, what's in the vial? Uh, species... A special blend of spices. Nothing more. But a blend made exactly to my cousin's specification. It is vital uh, that it reach him exactly as it is. And if it doesn't, well, the money won't be there uh, to pay you then. All right, tell me about The Track. It's a local dog track, betting and so forth. Ah, uh, but maybe you should go and see for yourself. All right, I'm on my way. Excellent. Uh, please be quick. My cousin is waiting for you as we speak. All right. So, before we get too far, too, too far, far into it, um, that's where we're going to leave it. So, we've got trouble at the track. We've also got this gutted house to deal with. So, we'll get onto those in the next session. But, um...
it's an interesting way to do it. Like, just people just keep running up to me and, and offering me jobs, which I kind of like. It means, like, the NPCs aren't just waiting around with, you know, the exclamation mark above their head waiting for you to, to run into them for them to give you a job. So, very cool. I got to do uh, some good there and uh, got to check out the uh, the under under city. But, um, hmm. So, we've got to work out what's going on with this building. Uh, we're going to go and heal up um, a leg and uh, heal up an ankle and a uh, spot of bodyguard duty in the next session so uh, yeah but for now thank you all very much for watching please remember to like and subscribe I have been your humble host Tim and be sure to come back for the next session of Aurora Plays Neverwinter Nights 2 The Mysteries of Westgate Bye!